Congratulations on the purchase here of your Hydro Lux unit. You're gonna absolutely love it. There's a couple reasons that it stands out in the market. I'll share with you why. But the first thing is we took it out of the box here. You're gonna also notice you have a manual. So I'm gonna read that so we make sure you know everything about this unit. So we have not plugged it in yet. What we wanna do is go ahead and plug it in and we're gonna go ahead and open the top distilled water port. Now, a lot of people are like, but I don't wanna drink distilled water. You're not drinking distilled water. This distilled water goes in to make the hydrogen gas. It operates like an inhalation unit. There's a separate chamber with an anode and a cathode and a PEM membrane separated there. And it literally makes the hydrogen and then in a little tube, it puts it right into your drinking water. It infuses it in your drinking water. So the water that you're drinking has never come in contact with any platinum or titanium, like everything else on the market. So you got about six ounces here or so of distilled water. I'm gonna go ahead and add it in. It does not come with the funnel. I have one, or if you're really skilled, you can just use that. Once we have about six ounces in there, you can look at the front case here. This is the water lack right here. So if it did not have enough distilled water, you would notice because it would be flashing or green. Okay, so B did good. We'll go ahead and put that there. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and fill it up the tank. It's got a nice convenient handle. It's also got a filter in here. So you have three filters. An RO filter is the highest quality you can get. RO is reverse osmosis. And the reason that is, is because the membrane there is so small, it's able to get out the contamination. You got fluoride, you have arsenic, you have pharmaceuticals, you have heavy metals, you got PFAS. I mean, there's 60,000 chemicals in your tap water. If you're just using a standard carbon filter or a Brita filter right now, it's not gonna be adequate at getting out contamination. Filter life is usually six months to 12 months. It's gonna tell you, I'm gonna use in a second, when to change it. And then it holds about a gallon and a half or so at a time. Easy to travel with too. So there is on the back of the unit, here you'll see there is a water tank drain and there's a pure distilled water drain. Every month or two, you can drain out the distilled water and put new distilled water in. You'll just take it over the sink, push the quick connect and take it out. Or when traveling, same thing here with the tank water. When you're traveling, just make sure to let that water out of the unit before you travel with it. Now we'll go ahead and put the tank back on here. And right now it's gonna go ahead and suck in the water and it's gonna take about three to five minutes or so. So we'll be back here shortly. We are done. So I went ahead and pulled the water through the tank and now I'll just kind of show you how to operate it. Here is our lock. So this is a safety lock button. To turn it on, just push the button. And then you're gonna notice these are your filters here. So when your filter starts getting lower, you're gonna notice red. And when it's all the way red, then it's time to change the filter. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the cup in and you can change it. You can say, what, I want 150 milliliters or I want, this is about eight ounces or so here. And then we have our um, origin and our pure. So the origin is the tank, the four filtration, and then after is the filtration. So you wanna make sure that it's, you know, not too, too high going in. If you got pond water you're putting into it, that's not the best water to put it. Make sure it, it's, you know, at least water that's not, doesn't have to be filtered, but just make sure it's not herbal water. And then we are going to go ahead and push the white button here. You notice the ambience room temperature, the green here means it's hydrogen production is, is there for you. And it's really high flow rate too, which most of the time you don't have a high flow rate with a unit like this. You're gonna be loving that. So I'll show you that. And then also I wanna show you the hot water over here. You have four different levels. When you get to the boiling 100 degrees Celsius, it's about 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's really hot, which is why the safety lock um, will be on when you have that. So there you are. And then you wanna just push the boil here if you want that hot and you can see it here. But you can also do foot detoxes with that, warm water, put your hands in it. I mean, that's hot. Maybe do it with the lower temperature. And then right here, it's saying that we're gonna need water soon in the tank. That's why it's flashing. And it's sterilizing it with a UV light and we're making hydrogen production. So we are doing great. It's very easy. There's no cleaning. There's no maintenance other than putting new distilled water in there every month or two. And it will tell you when you need new distilled water. So enjoy it and let us know how you're doing and all the benefits that you're getting from it. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video.